Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome. This is Hill with another review preview of a Wabajack mod list. And today we are taking a look at Living Skyrim 4. So the game starts you off in the realm of a Lorcan. And I want to say that this is. Um, one of the few mods that actually uh, gives you this starting point, um, which is very interesting. I mean, you go around here, you can collect uh, ingredients, uh, you can get armors, you know, all the stuff that you need to, to get started in your adventure in Skyrim. Uh, if you're a mage, there's an area where you can find mage robes and spells. Uh, there's an area where you can find weapons and armor. So it's a, a very uh, interesting way to start Skyrim. And to get into the, the world of Skyrim, I mean, we have signs here, but these crystals, these shards, I imagine are part of the heart of Lorcan. I could be wrong. I, you know, I'm not a lore expert, but these little shards that are all over uh, will take you to different points in Skyrim. All right, so I just want to go over some of the uh, mods that are in this list. And we'll start by going over the mod configuration menu. And there are many mods, and I'm afraid I didn't write down how many, but there, there are, but trust me, there are a lot of mods here. So I'm just going to go through here. Uh, can pause if you want to. I'm probably going slow enough where you don't need to. But, um, you know, some of my favorites are in here, like Honed Metal so that I don't have to concentrate on crafting and uh, smithing and whatnot, enchanting. Don't have to worry about that till later on in the game because I can hire somebody to do that for me. Uh, Lucian is here, another popular um, follower, as along with, um, I wanna say this is not, this is the MCM recorder, but I think the recorder is in this as well um we do have a lot of the modern combat overhauls in here uh, i believe valhalla if, uh, yes valhalla combat um and we have some of the um i guess some of the best i would say vigilant anyway uh dlc mods uh, that are, are also added in here as well so this is the the list of um all the configurable uh, mods that are in the MCM. And, uh, you know, that, that is that part of it. So, from here, we would choose a starting point. Uh, we have Whiterun here, and I think Riverwood is around here somewhere. But, um, let me just, uh, talk about I guess some of the other mods that are in here just in case uh, that you might be interested uh, in playing this mod list I mean, this is certainly something that I would definitely consider with the, uh, the type of uh, mods that they do have But yeah, if you just follow the signs, you might be able to find uh, where you're looking to go. This winter hole, this is where the, um, I think the mage robes and stuff, I've already taken them out of here, but there were mage robes in here. There were spell books. So it, it really gets you prepared for your uh, up and coming adventures. Now I believe, um, in earlier versions of uh, Realm of Lorcan, you could actually 
you like increase the stats of your character there was an area where you could just go around and uh, I think it was this area over here but I believe that's all been taken out now but there were little um, I don't know if you want to call them shrines or something you could run around here and you know like increase your your one-handed and sp your spells and it's all sorts of stuff that you could pick up yeah like this what is this bardic knowledge not sure what that is but yeah there would be things here that you could uh, collect and you know your character would be uh, fully ready to take on the world of Skyrim so this list is um, I guess slightly on the difficult side the recommended um, starting difficulty is Adept, and that's uh, you know what I'll be playing on. And we will uh, look at some combat a little later on in the video. All right, so here we are at the Jarl's uh, Longhouse in Falkreath. I am playing now with a level 10 character. I'll just... Uh, step out here into the foyer so you can see the longhouse has been completely redesigned it's a very nice very nice textures new objects uh, you still have your enchanting table up here if you were in need of it and oh there's also no this isn't saying okay it does say something I think this is what is this a mystic condenser where you can strengthen I'm just guessing because I can't see yet yeah, did say mystic condenser uh, like weaker potions I believe like weaker soul gems you can combine them to make more powerful ones so that's another um, mod that's in here um, some other things of note there are population mods in here such as immersive college NPCs and inconsequential NPCs, as well as citizens of Tamriel. Uh, there's also unlimited hostile encounters and hand-placed enemies. And there are also immersive patrols, man those borders, and populated Solstein. So here we are walking around... Uh, in a redesigned fall creeth. I think this is one of the um, more interesting fall creeth mods. And we do have the quick light in here, so I can just turn that on and off with a keystroke. Now, the um, mod author, uh, I guess, has designed this uh, particular list uh, for mouse and keyboard, but for those of you that don't like playing with a mouse and keyboard or can't like me um, you can use a controller I know he doesn't like that and probably doesn't want to hear me saying it but yes I am playing with a controller and the thing about um, these Wabajack lists it seems to be true for all of them is that when I do use a controller I still have the ability to use the keys on the keyboard and you know that that is a great advantage uh, as far as I'm concerned it makes life a whole lot easier so we do have all sorts of uh, you know quests and stuff that have been added uh, I think we looked at um, vigilant and I think there were a couple of others uh, let's see is there anything else oh as far as magic mods go we have smart cast and you can set up specific rules and conditions under which spells will be cast for you. Now, I played around with this a little bit, and I don't think it's working. It's going to be uh, something that I'm going to have to learn how to do. <laughs> so we'll uh, take a look at that. Um, this uh, mod list is also very, um, I would say, animation heavy. Uh, you get some really mods I, I don't know the names of all these um, animations I've heard of like Vanagran and there are all sorts of other things that, that uh, contribute 
to these animations, but uh, I think they're really cool. Okay, we also have Spell Forge, which completely changes how your character learns new spells. Um, and don't worry, you can still, you know, pick up the, the skill books, the spell books, and um, use those as well. So, this person behind me, this is Shandar. This is a follower, and I have to say that this is one of the heaviest mod lists that I've seen um, when it comes to followers. There are just followers that you wouldn't believe. I just bump into people in the cities and, you know, there's an option to follow me. So if, if you're looking for a variety of different followers, you know, followers that you've never tried or played with before, this is definitely the list for you. Now, there is one caveat when I say that. Even though there are scores of followers throughout Skyrim, there is, let's see here, a condition to using them. Uh, if we go to, I believe it is speech. Yes. There is a separate tree in speech for leadership. Now, you have to invest three points into each of these nodes just to get one additional follower. And, you know, I, I kept hoping I was reading this wrong. I mean, I could see, like, adding a, you know, one perk point here and then one here and one here and getting, you know, three, three additional uh, slots for followers. Because right now, I can only have one follower. But no, it looks like you have to have three perk points in each slot in order to unlock a follower. Now, I don't know, <laughs> guys, that seems a bit excessive to me, especially in the early goings of the game where you're trying to level up your character and survive. And, you know, having followers is, is definitely a way of doing that, but it seems like now you have to make a choice. Either you're going to level yourself up or you're going to spend the points to unlock followers. So that is definitely a, a, a degree of difficulty that I have never seen before. So, uh, yeah, and this is, I guess this works in conjunction with Nether's um, follower. Is it network? What, what do we call this thing? follower oh follower framework so yeah so right now yeah I only get one follower and have to work to unlock more all right so I think uh, let's see if there's anything else I need to talk about here as far as magic um, overhauls there is mysticism uh, triumvirate and of course, you know that some people like to pronounce it triumvirate. But I don't think that's that's how it's pronounced. Okay, and we also have Thaumaturgy, Pilgrim, which is, uh, I guess, this game's version, this modless version of uh, the, the Winter Sun Faiths. And we have the Mundus Standing Stones. So, as far as the combat, again, there is the Valhalla combat. There's MCO and ADXP. So, I know those are like the, the latest uh, combat uh, overhauls that are out there. There's also TK Dodge. There's Precision. And there is Know Your Enemy, which makes the um, enemies a lot harder to, uh, to fight. Okay, and there's also an archery uh, overhaul. And perks and leveling are done with experience. It changes how you level up to require you to complete quests, explore, and clear dungeons. And as far as the perk tree, the one that we just looked at earlier, uh, that is adamant. So, you know, it is an enhancement over the... Uh, the vanilla 
but it's somewhere in between vanilla and ordinator with a uh, more sparing amount of um, perks that you need to uh, unlock. And I guess as a result, there are no sky shards uh, in this game. And, you know, I, I can live with that. So I'm hearing, I mean, this is uh, learning for me, that this is like a Simon Rim these particular uh, sets of mods and Simon Rim opposed to NA Rim or NI Rim however you want to pronounce it NI Rim is the power fantasy mods where you can just make you know a completely overpowered character and Lost Legacy which I you know have a current playthrough you know on YouTube right now is that uh, Power Fantasy mod. I didn't realize there were you know, like two types of mod lists. So this Simon Rim inherently is going to be a bit harder yeah, because it, it doesn't God. have all the uh, In the old fort, perks and, and things that uh, you episode. can unlock easily. You know, you don't have the sky shards. You don't have all that stuff that uh, can make your character so amazingly powerful so that's just something to consider all right so we also have npc bartering you can barter with uh, anybody you encounter there's also a loot overhaul it makes the loot more dynamic and interesting and there's also dynamic dungeon loot narrative loot and lock related loot so there, there there's a lot this is really a incredibly well done overhaul of Skyrim all right and we do have an addition there is clockwork as far as the DLC mods project AHO and Helgen Reborn now the thing I guess I have not mentioned is that there is no legacy of the Dragonborn and for some that may be a relief and you know i have played with legacy of the dragonborn for so long that i've forgotten how to play without it so it was really refreshing um playing this game and not having to you know just collect all this loot and you know does this go in the the museum is this a piece that i'm looking for is this a piece that i need you know, it, it's it's a certain relief, I think, to not have to go through that. And I used to be a an, a, an advocate of Legacy of the Dragonborn, loved it, but I think I've just played out. I'm you know played out. It's it's just um, a bit much. So th this would be a uh, great list to play. You know, if you're tired of Legacy of the Dragonborn or you just don't like it you know never want to use it here's a list for you all right let's go on in here to dead man's drink and this is also where you can find shandar along with the uh, fan favorite over here lucian excuse me sir who's gotten a bit I of an overhaul do this but um have you got a moment to talk not today but most of the um, NPCs, I mean, I don't know if all of them have been overhauled, but, you know, I think everybody has gotten a pretty nice Welcome makeover from what I've seen. Oh, and the other thing, I came in here and, and didn't uh, exclaim about this. The lighting. Look how bright it is in here. Thank you so much, Forgotten Glory. And I think the dungeons are the same way. They're bright. So, you know, this is much needed so that we can see what's going on. So our viewers, for those of you that have YouTube channels, you know, our your viewers, our viewers can all see these beautiful mods that have been curated. All right, so I think I've rambled on enough about the mod list and what it includes. So let's go and um, look at some combat. Yes, what is it that you want? Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. 
I got your letter. I'm Zavros. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. It will be done. Good. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. All right, Wakefield Camp. Now, that's another thing. This mod has added all sorts of new bandit camps, so there's no telling what I'm in store for. All right, it looks like it's not that far from Fall Creek, but far enough. All right, so we will cut ahead and when we get to the uh, bandit camp. As you can see, we do have the, uh, the paragliding. In Living Skyrim 4. And you can adjust the animations uh, for picking flowers because uh, the default is where you actually bend down and pick them up, which takes forever, so there, there's this quick option. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we've got this camp over here. Oh, what have we got? All right, let's try stone flesh. Let's create a spectral dire wolf. Let's see. Oh, I do have a bound bow. to my wolf. And it looks like she's using a crossbow, which has been integrated into this world, into this game. my help. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I cannot conjure. There we go. The wolf got it. Well, I tell you, this uh, stone flesh really seems to uh, be effective. All right. Yeah, look at this, an iron crossbow. Alright, 
Let's continue on. I don't know what happened to Shandar. He was absolutely no help. That look at him back there. Really? So we are playing with a conjurer type character that some may want to call a necromancer. This is not the right place. Looks like the camp is over the mountain here. Let's see if we can get to it. All right, looks like we need to get down. But as you can see, I mean, Skyrim just looks incredibly beautiful. The rocks, the grass, the trees. guard because I don't know where I'm going. Uh-oh. in the right order. Oh, now it's it's smart cast the stone flesh. Okay. Oh, look at this. How how high a level are these people? What? Come on, Shandar, do something. Oh, we cleared it already, right. It was that one person. I'm sure there's more. not. We did it. Here's the camp. They really didn't have many uh, bandits here. Lucky for us. Oh, there's still somebody, a witch. all sorts of uh, stuff you find in these chests, too. Did that witch disappear? No, she's still out here. There 
she is. I can't lock on to it. There we go. So that's some of the combat in Living Skyrim 4. Personally, I think it's a great mod. And I may be looking forward to playing it. So I highly recommend this. And I will see you all later.